<laughs> well, so on well, anyone else, it's just a hat, but you know, on you, it's so. Um... Please, God, an earthquake, a flood, anything to keep me to finish this sentence. <laughs> Looks great to me. Good God, what toxic spill did that fly on? <laughs> being robbed. Let's get out. Get out. What if there's somebody else outside? Let's hide in the basement. Wait. You have a basement. Or an attic. Or even a decent guest room. Because this place is a dump. I'm trapped by a burglar in a dump. Remind me to hurt you for that sometime when I'm not so scared. There you go. Come back here. Don't run away. Not the Stolly. <laughs> was take worthless appliances. You killed something beautiful and rare. Oh, <laughs> uh, please, I'd like to report a robbery that took my TV, my VCR, and my best friend's dignity. <laughs> Mama's boy. Marianne, are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> and did you find out? No fair, they took my clogs away from me. You're just lucky that they let you back in at all. But you're gonna be way louder than Shut me. Up. just some stunt guy you can make fun of anymore. I'm the star of my own movie, and you can't intimidate me. You're right, Jeff. I've been a bad girl. <laughs> Punish me. Make her stop. Jeff, she can say whatever she wants in my house. <laughs> Good luck. You too. All right. I need to talk to now, how could I have said that politely? See you, loser. Don't forget to watch me on TV. Bill, no, wouldn't that be a fun club, man? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking we should do? No, but I know that look. It's your new age crystal voodoo barking at the moon look. <laughs> You're about to hop the last train to Flakesville. I think we should try past life regression. All aboard! <laughs> no, really. Maybe some former life holds the key to this whole Richard fight. Something I were usually with Mother Sheridan. What are they doing tonight that I had to be out of the house for? I don't exactly know. It's some ancient ritual that's been done the same way since the dawn of time. <laughs> that says your place are right here. <laughs> this outfit talks too much. Come on, Sybil, it's your third date. But we're still in the beginning phase where everything about him seems so perfect. I want to wait until I find out how he's not perfect to still see if I like him enough to sleep with him. That being said, why am I wearing my breakaway underwear? <laughs> so according to your theory, you're hoping he uses the wrong fork for his salad so you can take him on the floor like a pirate. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying I don't want to chemically bond until I emotionally bond. I couldn't agree more. 
and yet I couldn't understand less. <laughs> you remember that guy I was dating? Of course you will, Sean. <laughs> Someday you'll meet another woman. You'll marry her. She'll give you a child. And then one afternoon you'll be at a barbecue at Lyle Wagner's house. <laughs> and there'll be a little blonde in tight jeans and cheap slingbacks. And everyone will know about it except the mother of your son, but she'll find out. <laughs> yes. And then, may God be with you. <laughs> Run, Sean, I'll distract her. Here I am, look. Pretty boom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sybil. Today would have been my 23rd anniversary with Dr. Dick. And I spent all morning looking for the perfect gift. It's impossible to find a tailor who can sew a scorpion into a pair of Speedos. Thorpe. Thorpe, Thorpe, Thorpe. Mail, mail, mail. Always on call, that's our Dr. Dick. <laughs> Could I call you? I'm insane! Your name is Dr. Richard Thorpe! She's very upset. Her friend was attacked by a vicious lamb yesterday. What's happening to this city? If I hear about one more senseless lamb attack... <laughs> Listen, if I can help you with anything lamb-wise, or if you'd just like to call me. Since we're handing out cards, call me. <laughs> Come back. I knew it. And it's for me, not you. Maybe she said the real world was too big and scary and real. Thank goodness my money insulates me from all of that. Whoa! Blinding self realization calls for a daiquiri. You're pathetic. Make me one too. <laughs> Just. Don't let them in. I heard to. He's probably here to see Rachel. But he didn't lift a finger to get you a part in his movie. He is scum. He is worse than scum. He is hot dog water. <laughs> that business is so rude. They left before I could insult them. Well, I'll just call them later. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think I've ever seen you without earrings on. I have to go home immediately. I'll get a scarf, uh, some sunglasses, and, and bring the car around back. Stop staring. I can't. It's like that time I accidentally saw my grandpa in the shower. I didn't want to look, but I had to. Come in, yeah, walk around. Try the shoes. You'll never want to go back. <laughs> Your heel down. It is done. <laughs> See? You've worn high heels so long, you've turned into weird, freaky tiptoe woman. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Ah! No, stop! I don't belong down here. I'm not like you. <laughs> well, I guess these are for everyone. You weren't supposed to tell anyone where we were. I had a craving. I'm sorry, Rachel, but I'm gonna have to take him out. <laughs> Let me get the pizza first. Perfect. Oh, very funny. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ha. We're not buying that. Are we? It is her mission in life to torture me. I'm so glad she's home. <laughs> I need to use the ladies' room. Use the one down here. I much prefer the one upstairs. Yeah. Well, look, your daughter is upstairs with the son of a stalker. I'm just doing my job. Hey, I suggested the Sweeney Todd cheese grater, but I was outvoted. <laughs> Ever since I pray, Mary Doctor. She has gone out of her way to upstage me at every charity event or social function that I am a part of. She probably made him write a bigger check so that I wouldn't get the award. She's a freak of nature. <laughs> that woman has implants. We, we really hate her. <laughs> Feel free to freaking fits all you want. <laughs> Stink around a loser must pay TV. <laughs> You're right. Hello, eager 
Doe Patrol, I'd like to report a major spillage. <laughs> Is this not about anything about last night? No. No, of course not. <laughs> because he's a lying bastard who should be strapped naked to the bottom of a tractor and dragged over 40 acres of porcupine. <laughs> no, I can do better. And I love your mystic We also are featuring themselves all across North America. <laughs> chain of events. First I would sit and stick there. Then I would be forced to order something called deluxe or combo. And then pressured by the natives, I would nibble at the edges and before you know it, I'd be living above a laundromat and ordering miracle mops off the TV. Fine. Stan. But from outside, you look like our waitress. <laughs> wow, look at this menu. It's a boy-crazed teenager. <laughs> Let him in immediately. He must be spanked. <laughs> Marianne, this is just business. Try and keep it in your pants. <laughs> Okay, maybe now is not a good time, but that's not a problem because I'll always be there for you, Dick. Whenever there's acid rain coming from your sprinklers, I'll be there. Whenever there are fire ants in your tanning booth, I'll be there. When you've deluded yet another poor, unsuspecting x-ray technician into accepting your loathsome advances, and a pack of rabid Dobermans jumped into your jacuzzi and ripped the very soul from your body, I'll be there. <laughs> Still don't feel like a chat, sweetheart. <laughs> I can admit it. But what will I do while I'm waiting? Me? What about her? <laughs> She's old, too. Yes, but I'm rich. That makes me better. 